In this tutorial, I'm going to get a little bit deeper into materials. Um, I'm going to look at adding textures or image textures to your uh, materials. So in the last video, we did some basic stuff with just some shiny and dull uh, textures. But this time, we're going to be adding some image textures that you might want off the internet to put on your models. Uh, so I'm going to start with a uh, sphere. And this is going to add a few more segments. Instead of 16, I'm going to go to 40, make it a little bit more round. And I'm going to be doing an Earth and a Moon. So I need a second sphere. One quick way to duplicate would be to copy-paste, or even easier would be holding down Control while I'm on the Move tool. Hold down Control and drag one of the arrows on the gizmo. It will automatically drag out a brand new shape. I'm going to shrink this down with my Scale tool. I want to scale proportionally, so I'm going to stay away from the gizmo, so it scales proportionally, and then move with my Move tool so that I can put it near this other sphere. Okay, so to add textures to a material, first you need to get a material. So down here, we're going to double click and to create a new texture, I'm going to double click this and bring up the materials editor. You want to make sure that you're on color. We're going to drop down texture and go to load image. And I'm going to choose my earth open. And always say yes. Okay. So I have it. This looks good. I can close this out and I can drag this onto the sphere. Now it might look a little blurry, but if we render, you can see that it crispens up. So it's it's just in the editor that it might look a little bit blurry, but when we render out, everything looks fine. I'm going to get out of the rendering, and let's try adding a texture to the moon. Now, uh, let me show you a different way of going about this. The other way, we double-clicked the new texture and we loaded image. There's actually an easier way in Cinema 40, I'm just going to slide my screen over and I'm going to drag this texture, the moon texture that I have as a JPEG, and drag it into the blank area and say yes. And look what appears, the texture of the moon. So that's another way of making a material. By dragging the texture directly to here, it knows what you want to do and I'll just render and make sure that looks okay too. Perfect. So, when I'm rendering, I notice that <clears throat> some of these look kind of shiny. I, I don't want that glisten on there. I don't want it to be, I don't want to see that. So, I'm going to double click the earth first, bring up the materials editor, and I'm going to turn off the reflectance. And you can see, when I turn this off and on, you can see it gets rid of that shine. I'm also going to do that with this texture. So you're going to have to double click it. The material editor could stay open. I'm going to turn off reflectance. And let's take a look now. Excellent. Um, if you ever need, so these textures fit really nicely. They were meant to wrap around spheres. You might have a texture that doesn't fit and you need to move it and scale the texture itself or rotate it. And here, I'm going to show you how to do that. You have to come up here. So where the spheres are, you can see that the textures are next to them. So if I clicked on, let's say, the Earth little icon of the texture, when you click on that, down below you get attributes for that texture. And the, the set that you're looking for is right here, the offset U and offset V. If I move, the offset U, it moves it left and right. If I drag the offset V on these arrows, it's going to move it up and down. The length U and the length V is stretching the texture itself. So if I drag up the length U to about 300%, you can see it's becoming more wide. Now I'm going to bring that back to 100. And the length V, if you stretch, it will be stretching more height. So for this, as I said, it doesn't matter, but you might come into a situation where you need to stretch your textures or rotate them, and this is the way, by coming up here and selecting on these little icons, to reveal 
the properties for that material. There's also different ways you can map things quickly, spherical, uh, cylindrical, flat, and you can work with these and look at them and test them out. That's all for this tutorial. Uh, stay tuned for my next one. Try this out and good luck.